guys, this is Kelly. I am back with Mari. This week our challenge is to use three of our favorite colors. And I'm sure this is no big surprise to anyone. I am going to be using blue, yellow, and pink. So I am taking this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece of paper. This is a Felicity Jane paper. It is from the Zoe kit and I am going to cut it in half horizontally. And I want this line to be straight. So I have decided to march out six inches down and six inches across and I'm using my straight edge and just going to lightly draw a line with my pencil and then cut the paper with my craft knife. And I was a little nervous doing this, but I knew that my the, the paper would not fit under my trimmer with this. And I just found that by using a sharp craft knife and by going slow and uh, steady, that the line was pretty straight or just straight enough for me not to really notice if there was anything crooked with it. So um, I will definitely be using that technique. The I had gotten away from using my craft knife as much, especially since I have the silhouette. I used to cut a lot of my titles with a craft knife, but um, I've just reaffirmed how much I used to love that tool. So anyway, you're going to see me flip this page around a couple of times. I'm trying to figure out if I want the pattern paper on the bottom or if I want it on the top. Just for me, I would normally put it on the bottom, but I'm trying to do things that are a little bit out of my comfort zone or that are just a little bit different. So you're going to see me mess around with that and I do end up coming back at a later time and putting it on top. So I want to go ahead and back this photo with this pretty butter yellow paper. This photo is of me and my daughter. We. Uh, didn't have any special occasion. It was just one of those, let's take a selfie, and it was cute. So I just want to do this layout just because. Um, you know, a nice little picture of my favorite girl and using my favorite products. So that just makes a fun page. So some of the other things that I have pulled out that I am going to try to incorporate on the page are the uh, sequins that you see in the upper right hand corner, those are from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And I've pulled out that yellow ribbon, which is from an old Coco Daisy kit. And I'm going to see what I can get worked onto the page. Now to pull in the pink, since we are challenging ourselves to use three colors, I tore off a strip of pattern paper. Since the photo is a three by four, I didn't want to necessarily cut a bigger piece of the paper, I just wanted to use what I had and see if I could make it work. So now I have used this kit, I think with just one other layout, and I'm just going through to figure out what kind of pieces, what kind of acrylic pieces are with the acrylic shapes. Um, in just a minute, I'm gonna go through the die cut pieces because, you know, for me, when I have something new, any type of new product, just trying to familiarize myself with the product, it takes a couple of layouts to use, you know, the product before I can really start flying through because I, you know, at that point know what I have. So I am going to trim up the ends of that uh, pink diagonal stripe paper and clean them up just a little bit. And I decided that I wanted to mat my photo again. And I'm going to use this heart stripe, heart striped, this heart patterned paper. And the, the Zoe kit does have a pattern paper that has small hearts on it. I can't remember if the hearts are smaller than this pattern or larger. But the reason why I did not want to use the heart pattern paper is because it is the back of that blue and yellow floral. And I already know that I'm going to use the rest of that paper on a different page. I don't know which page right now, but I know that I'm going to want to fussy cut some of those yellow flowers out. So I, as much as I love a good black and white polka dot or heart uh, paper, I am going to save every last little bit of that blue and yellow paper. I did not get the paper add-on kit with this uh, Felicity Jane kit, and I wish I had, but 
you know, I, I'm going to make this work. So I am going to take some craft foam and pop my photo up. I still just adore using that craft foam. I think it works so well. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere down these pink pattern papers. Um, well, it's just one pattern paper behind my photo and then layer a doily underneath it. So I've had a couple of people uh, say something about me using doilies and um, I just can't even apologize for it because I love them that much. I will use it on a masculine page as well. I just love the texture. I love the fact that it gives um, a light airy look to the layout or the photo cluster and it's just it's one of those things that I can't not do you know there are some layouts that I don't feel like I need to but on this one I feel like it's a perfect addition to this photo so as I said I haven't really used this uh, kit quite off quite a lot so I'm trying to go through and figure out what I want to use that um, the girl die cut Zoe um, who the kit is named after is adorable but she was holding a cupcake and since this kit is birthday themed, I knew that I had a couple of pictures of Emily when she was smaller and she has on this like pink vest that I thought would work well with this and um, you know it was her birthday so I was thinking that I was going to use the girl die cut for that. So that was why I decided not to use it on this page. So one of the things that the kit came with were these teeny tiny tags and this twine and I will be honest with you tying that twine with just me was really difficult to get it tight around the photo like I wanted I wanted to have somebody else just put their finger on the knot so I could make a tighter a tighter bow and I, I don't know it didn't seem like it had that much elastic but it may have been just my bow tying skills so that's why it took me so long but I love the way that these two little tags look overlapping one another and the little one just says happy because she definitely makes me happy. So I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with the sequins and I'm not quite sure and I end up walking away from the page and I come back the next day and I had pulled out some other things from my stash. I knew that the Chasing Dreams collection by Maggie Holmes would work well because of the colors in this, especially the pinks and the yellows. And I also wanted to pull through some of my thickers and use a script thicker word for part of my title. So these thickers, oh, I think, are they from One Canoe Two or Hazelwood? They might be Hazelwood. And I thought that the darling was perfect for this photo of my darling. And I am going to use some word phrases just to complete it. Like I said, this was just, a, you know, a selfie. There isn't really a big story. So it's just going to basically, you know, talk about how much I love her. So because I have flipped it, I felt like the... The, the title needed a little bit of grounding. So I did take that yellow branding strip and cut it a little bit just to help give the title something to work on. And I felt like that helped to connect it to the photo and make it, a, you know, like one big cluster. And I did uh, just take it to the sewing machine and stitch down the paper and ruffle up the edge just to give it a little bit more texture and dimension. That is one of the things that I love to do. Now, I'm sorry that this is off camera. I didn't realize how far over the sticker sheet was. I am just taking some of the stickers from Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams and layering a couple of them behind the photo. Um, I wanted to see if this chipboard would work and you know any, any of these extra little pieces that I could put on. So that bow is not going to stay there. I love the bow and I wanted to get it onto the page because I felt like it helped bring another shot of that pink. I've got 
a little bit of pink above the photo. I have it in the paper and I wanted to figure out how I could get it to work on uh, the title cluster. So I found this little bird from the sticker sheet and I'm going to just move this branding strip over just a little bit more so the bird can sit on the ledge as well. And I just felt like that helped to tie everything together. And you know how much I love birds and just adding that pink bow just really set off the cluster for me. So I am going to put, I put some craft foam under that yellow rose, even though it's not the same rose, I felt like the colors went perfectly. The type of rose was very similar and I thought it just worked well and I liked the dimension that it gave. And this is where I am going to complete both the upper cluster and the uh, title cluster with the other Maggie Holmes uh, word stickers. And I don't have a layout in front of me, so I'm not sure what it says underneath. I think it's something like maybe you, you are my everything or something like that. But just, you know, a layout just so she knows how much I do love her. So at this point, I'm almost done. I'm just taking some hearts and putting them around the page, trying to figure out which types of hearts that I want to use. I had pulled off that gold chipboard round heart, but I didn't like the fact that it was two circles right on top of another. So I put it back and found this white uh, and gold chipboard heart. And I liked that better because it gave some dimension and it just, made that cluster, I felt like, not look as flat as it was. And uh, again, I didn't use the circle heart because it was repeating the circle a little bit too much in that cluster. So the final things that I'm going to do is just use my Scotch Tacky Adhesive and I'm going to glue down um, my sequins and I'm going to glue down the chipboard because we all know how chipboard does not really stick to air pages. And then off camera, I am going to sew through the sequins underneath that word sticker just to make sure that they do stay. So a little bit of sprinkles of the Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine, and that's really going to do it. I have some close-ups at the end, and I want to encourage you to go check out Mari's video. I can't wait to see what she has done. Uh, we tend to work with a lot of the same collections when we and we don't plan it so I'm anxious to see what she has worked with on this one. So thanks so much guys for joining us and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.